What's up guys, Matt back here with BK Bending and Flipping. I am just leaving work on Friday the 23rd. I'm driving over to collect from Papa John's. It's been two weeks since the last collection and last time I was there the general manager wanted me to come every two weeks to collect. So I am going to do that. Uh, my wife already collected from Ahi Pokey and Yogurt Jungle. Yogurt Jungle had been a week, Ahi Pokey had been two weeks. And my wife told me Ahi Pokey had a bunch of theft again, so we're gonna pull that box completely. I'm gonna go there tomorrow and pull it, so I'll probably put that in this video as well. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way to go get uh, Papa John's. My wife also went to Discount Tire. I don't know how that one did yet. She hasn't called me since then, but um, I'm hoping that it did really well, but uh, we'll find out. That one had been there for one week. I was pretty excited about that location because it's always super busy um, so I'm hoping that it did well and that there's not a ton of theft there anyways I will uh, re I'll uh, pause it till I get there and uh, show you what we got all right guys so I'm here at Papa John's it's back over there I'm just gonna run get the box I'll be right back all right guys so there's the box I already threw all the pops in because I'm kind of in a hurry, so I'm going to get it ready to go, and we'll, we'll be right back. All right, so let's see what's in it. A couple bucks and a lot of change. There's usually a lot of change in this one, but uh, we'll count it all up later on in the video. All right, here it is all ready to go back in. I'm going to run it back in and be right back. What's up guys, Matt here with BK Vending and Flipping. So we found out that uh, Ahi Pokey had, it's the one that had over $10 of theft the last time we collected, which was two weeks ago. We just collected it yesterday and it had $20 in theft. So we've pulled that box, it's gone. Uh, I, I tried to talk to a manager, but when I went in, they said one wasn't available. I'm sure it was the employees that were stealing. You, you don't have that much theft in two weeks, $20 of theft in two weeks if it's not the employees in my mind. So my wife went to collect the box yesterday, so she went ahead and left the new one there completely full because she didn't know what to do. Uh, so I went back today after we got back from Noah's football game. I pulled that box. Noah is actually, we're at another discount tire. You can see um, right there. Noah just took the box in that we pulled from Ahi Pokey. He's gonna try to get it placed here. I, I told him if he gets a place that I'll split it with him. So he was like, okay, I'll go try. So he went in to try and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. What's up guys? Matt back here with BK Bending to go over what we collected from the four different locations. So we collected from Papa John's, which I do every two weeks. You guys saw, uh, I did a video of that one. Uh, it's not a video. I'll, the clip of that one is earlier in this video. Uh, we also collected from Discount Tire. My wife collected that one. Um, we collected from Ahi Pokey. And then also from Yogurt Jungle, which is Brock's second location. So I'll go over the numbers really quickly that we got and then tell you exactly what all happened. So Papa John's, we collected eight, $11.87. Uh, we had, that was two week collection. We had $4.13 of theft there. Discount Tire, we collected $17.50. That's in one week. Uh, we did have five dollars and fifty cents of theft there, but we collected seventeen fifty in one week, which I think that's our best collection for one week ever. So even though there was five dollars and fifty cents of theft, we're gonna leave that one there and see how it does uh, going forward. Ahi Pokey, also a two-week collection, we collected six dollars and fifty-one cents. Guys, there was only nine pieces of candy left, so we had twenty dollars and fifty cents of theft there. We've pulled that box; it's gone. Um, pretty disappointing to have that much theft and I went and I, I tried to talk to a manager there wasn't one there so I just explained to the employee I'm like you know there's too much theft here we can't leave it here anymore and kind of left it at that so I guess I'm just out that 30 bucks over the last month that they have stolen from us so that kind of sucks and then Brock's jun uh, yogurt jungle it was a one week collection there he had six dollars and 68 cents and absolutely no theft at all there so that one could be good, even though it's, I mean, six bucks every week. I mean, that's what, 12, 24 bucks a month. That's not bad. I mean, with no theft, if it continues in that way, uh, that'll be a good location for Brock. 
So I'll just quickly show you guys the money. You guys can see there. So this one is Papa John's. It always has a ton of change in it. Um, this one is Discount Tire. This one's Ahi Pokey, and then this one is Brock's. Um, so you can see it all there. <clears throat> we always have a lot of change, not a not a ton of dollar bills, but hopefully that'll change, and hopefully the the theft will go down. Um, if it doesn't, I'm I'm gonna probably talk to the Papa John's general manager if there's a lot of theft there again next time, and just kind of be like, hey man, you know, there's been a lot of theft. It was four dollars this time. It was two <laughs> two weeks. Four dollars in two weeks. That's a, a bit high, I think, for me. Um, I, I think we are going to try to do some that are just pops, and see how that goes. See, because I know uh, Mercado Mark over at Mercado Channel, um, they've done some of those with the Jolly Rancher pops and the Blow pops, and it looked like they did pretty good. So we might try to do that too. Uh, see how that goes. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Um, but at any rate, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. What's up, guys? Matt back here with BK Vending and Flipping. I am just leaving work. Today is Friday the 29th, I think, or maybe the 30th. I don't remember. Anyways, I'm just leaving work. I'm heading to the post office. I have a couple packages that I need to drop off from stuff that sold. And then I am going to collect from the... Uh, bolt candy machine that we have at the auto place um it's been just just over a month since we've been there maybe like a month and like three days or something like that so anyways i'll take you guys along with that um once i get there and we'll go in and i'll collect that's the one i'm collecting is the one that logan and i split uh 50 50 it's uh the three head candy machine that we have in there so anyways you'll see it all right guys, so I just ran in and collected. <clears throat> There's a couple employees in there. The owner wasn't here today. Um, so I just grabbed the money. I didn't film in there or anything. But I will count it up and tell you exactly how much I uh, we had to split between me and Logan. All right, so from the hot tamales, we got $3.95. There was a dime and two nickels in there as well. So um, on to the uh, peanut M&Ms. All right, so from the peanut M&Ms, we had $7.55. And I'll count up the gumballs real quick and tell you how we did there. All right, guys, so the gumballs had $19.25 in it. Not bad. Like I said, it was like a month and three days. So uh, let me add everything all up, and I'll tell you the total. All right, so after totaling everything up, it came out to a flat, even $30. Uh, that's pretty good considering, uh, <clears throat> well... $30.75 because I did leave three like one quarter in each spot. I do need to come back here with some gumballs and some peanut M&Ms and refill those. But I almost have the other machine that I ha that I got from this location. I almost have that repainted and ready to go. So I might just wait until I have that one ready to go, bring it down and fill everything up. Um, maybe next Friday or something. I don't know. I'll figure that out. But over 30 bucks, or uh, yeah, just over $30 in a, in a month from this location is awesome. Uh, we couldn't be more excited about that. And I am also going to do an honor box collection today at <clears throat> our discount tire. We're doing that one every week right now. Um, so we'll let you know how that one goes too. All right, guys, so I'm here at discount. I'm gonna run in and get the our charity box and I'll refill it and everything, but I'll walk you through it. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I got our box. When I went in, I couldn't see it anywhere, and I saw, like, uh, the blow pops, like, out on... They have these little um, tables in there, and I saw blow pops on all the tables, so I was like, oh, my gosh, they've dumped all our candy out, but they didn't. Here's the box. You can see hardly anything left in there, um, but they're running a sale today, and so they put our box away, and they put out stuff for their sale and they didn't want people to get confused or anything like that. So um, they said, we can still leave it here, it's no issue. They're gonna, um, I'm gonna fill it up, take it back in, and then they're gonna put it out tomorrow after their sale. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll show you how much is in there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the box. Let me turn it here, hopefully you guys can see. Looks pretty good. I'll uh, count it up and let you know how much we have in here. All right, guys, so here's the box. 
back ready to go. There was about, I don't know, $22 and change in there. We had $2 left worth of candy. So we had $5 and change of theft. That's the pretty consistent with how it was last week. But each week we're collecting between, you know, 18 and 20 bucks here. Um, so over the course of a month, even with the theft, that's still like an 80 dollar a month location so we're definitely going to leave it here even with that theft if the theft increases you know we'll talk to the owner or something but as of right now i mean it's our best location by far so we're leaving it here but anyways thanks for joining me hopefully you guys enjoyed this and we'll catch you on the next one hey what's up guys matt back here with bk vending and flipping we're on our way home from our in my in-laws we had family dinner there tonight and uh if you guys are struggling to hear me, we have the windows down because we thought it was such a nice night. We'd roll the windows down instead of using the AC. But I wanted you guys to see just how hot it is still. 90 degrees. And we think that's a nice enough night to have the windows down because it feels so good out. So that tells you just how hot it's been here in Arizona lately. Anyways, just thought I would share that with you guys and uh, call us crazy or whatever. But thanks.